Not an earthquake, but a mega earthquake could happen in Japan. It's scarier, bigger, and more destructive than ordinary tremors. However, the problem is that it will occur underwater, which means it will trigger a giant tsunami 100 feet high. A column of water nearly as high as a 10-story building will collapse on coastal cities, wiping out hundreds of houses. The water flow can destroy everything in its path like a bowling ball that knocks down pins. And then another wave may come. And another one. Anyone who is at risk should be on their guard. How to survive? You'll find out later in this video. But first, let's find out what a mega earthquake is. This is an earthquake with a magnitude 9 or more. This is a very rare phenomenon, and it depends not on the power of the shock, but on the length of the fault where it occurs. The longer the fault, the stronger the earthquake. But what are these faults? These are cracks in the rocks of the Earth's crust that move relative to each other. Imagine a large puzzle where every detail is a giant tectonic plate. When one part of the puzzle moves away from another or when they collide, that's when earthquakes begin. If the fault between the parts is long, then the magnitude of the earthquake is great. The largest mega earthquake ever recorded occurred on May 22, 1960, in Chile. The fault was almost 1,000 miles long. It's almost half the way between Chicago and Los Angeles. And now, a similar mega earthquake can happen underwater. That's how it all started. Last year, on August 8th, at 4.42 p.m., an earthquake with a magnitude of 7.1 occurred in southern Japan. The tremors appeared off the coast of the mainland island of Kyushu. Everyone was terrified as they expected a large tsunami to appear. But fortunately, they faced only a small wave. It collapsed on the shore, but didn't destroy buildings. About 15 people got hurt, which is sad, of course. But it could have been worse. It seemed that the disaster had passed. The residents breathed a sigh of relief. However, after that, the Japan Meteorological Agency sent a warning about a possible mega-earthquake that could be incredibly devastating. A previous earthquake of 7.1 magnitude could be a harbinger of an impending catastrophe. A disaster that could affect a quarter of a million people. As soon as people heard this, they ran to buy groceries. Increased demand and a slight panic led to shortages of rice and several other basic products. People were stocking up on food and preparing for the worst. But a week later, the Japan Meteorological Agency cancelled the warning. It turned out that the small tsunami on Kyushu Island was not a harbinger. No one knows whether a mega earthquake and tsunami will happen in this region, but the chances are very high. To understand the nature of this danger, we need to dive underwater in a place called the Nankai Trough. It is a 500-mile-long underwater fault that runs almost parallel to the Pacific coast of Japan. This is where the two giant sections of the Earth's crust meet, the Philippine Sea Plate and the Eurasian Plate. And the Philippine Plate is subducting and slowly slipping under the Eurasian Plate, on which Japan is partly located. During this movement, the plates get stuck, accumulating energy. Afterward, when they move and align again, they release a powerful burst of energy. And this energy is capable of causing one of the most powerful earthquakes in the world. Experts report that the probability of a mega earthquake and a tsunami is about 80%. Over the past 1400 years, mega earthquakes have occurred every 100 to 200 years in this region. The last time this happened in Japan was in 1946. The entire country felt a powerful tremor that destroyed 36,000 houses in the southern part of Honshu Island. Every year, the probability of a repeat of this disaster increases by 1%. And do you know how many years have passed? 79. According to experts, a mega earthquake with a magnitude of 8 to 9 can trigger a tsunami that will flood small islands off the coast of Japan and areas with large populations on the islands of Honshu and Shikoshu can be flooded in minutes. Hundreds of thousands of people are at risk. It can be billions and even trillions of dollars worth of damage. According to some reports, about 530,000 people may lose their homes. 
To save lives, the country needs to carry out a large-scale evacuation. But the problem is that no one knows the exact date. In general, no one in the world can predict in advance when the next big earthquake will occur. In the case of the Nankai Trough, it can happen in a few days, or a few years, or even centuries. So, what should people do? Prepare. Japan has been experiencing earthquakes for a long time, so the country has learned to survive a disaster with minimal losses. Almost every building in Japan is equipped with dampers, which are devices that suppress any vibrations and make houses more resistant to shaking. In addition, on the shores of Japan, residents have built long and high shields that don't allow powerful waves to break through to land. Japan also has an advanced earthquake warning system. It's impossible to predict powerful seismic activity in a few days or weeks, but it's possible to detect small tremors that may portend an impending earthquake. Special devices monitor seismic signals and transmit the data to certain programs. Then, they evaluate the magnitude and intensity of the tremors and send warnings to people's phones. This can save seconds and even minutes for locals to reach the nearest shelter in time. These systems are also used to slow down the speed of trains, to stop work at factories, hospitals, and office buildings. It's much safer for a train driver to slow down during an earthquake than to rush forward at full speed. But what if you're on the street and you can't hear your phone messages? How to act in case of disaster? This applies not only to Japan, but also to any place where a tsunami or earthquake may occur. To survive a tsunami, you need to prepare for it long before a big wave hits. It's very important to have good relations with neighbors, be friendly with them, help them, and treat them well. In times of trouble or disaster, it's great to have people with whom you have a good relationship. They can help you get out of a difficult situation, and you can also help them. Be kind and compassionate to people. This way, it's much easier to survive any disaster. Prepare a backpack with necessities in advance. These are a first aid kit, canned food, flashlights, a battery-powered radio, and bottled water. All this will not only save your life, but will also help other people in trouble. So if you feel an earthquake start, immediately run for cover. If you're at home, try to stand against a wall closest to the center of the building, or crawl under heavy furniture that stands firmly on the floor, such as a desk or a regular table. Stay away from windows and front doors, and never use an elevator. If you're on the street, don't come close to power lines and any objects that may fall. During a tsunami, you may need to get as high as possible to avoid getting swallowed by water. Stay as far away from the shore as you can, and don't go down until you're sure it's safe. But how can you find out about an approaching wave if you haven't received the warning? When a tsunami approaches the shore, you will hear a roar similar to the rumble of a passing train or plane. If there's no elevation nearby, then try to get to the upper floors. It must be at least the third floor, but it has to be a building that can resist a tsunami, such as a massive house made of concrete. If there are no such high buildings nearby, try to climb a massive tree. When the disaster is over, look around and find those you can help. Listen to messages from rescuers via radio or TV. If all is well, then you can deal with the consequences. Yes, there's a lot of work ahead, but you've survived and helped others survive. And that's the most important thing. That's it for today. So hey, if you pacified your curiosity, then give the video a like and share it with your friends. Or if you want more, just click on these videos and stay on the bright side.